Hi, I'm Sophie Alfdurst in Illustrator Base in Canada, and this is Artist Spotlight by Adobe Stock. Today I'll share with you how I got started, the story and inspiration behind my collection, and behind the scenes of my work process. I was always fascinated by the use of visual art for storytelling. I love how you can create a mood, connect to others, and portray ideas and emotions through illustration. In the beginning of my career, I used mostly traditional techniques and spent a lot of time drawing people, trying to capture their personalities and stories. Over time, I fell in love with digital illustration and with the endless possibilities it brings. I continued to be drawn to the human experience and began using illustration also as a way to create those experiences and moments. As a child, I grew up alongside my mother's journey in the field of neurobiology. I spent time in her lab, got to play with test tubes and test tube racks, and also spent afternoons at her desks doing my homework or drawing. As a child, I didn't think anything of it, but as I grew older, I learned how much what we see around us shapes us and impacts the way we perceive ourselves and others. What was a reality for me was sometimes surprising to others. I wanted to create a collection of professionals and of family moments that display all kinds of people. I wanted to create images that display diversity and equality as a reality we see around us. We're surrounded by visuals everywhere, whether it's in the physical world or in the digital spaces we spend time in. And as part of the creative community, I try to be mindful of the way I create these visuals and of what impression they leave. I was really happy to partner with Adobe Stock through the Artist Development Fund and make the collection widely accessible. I believe that one of the most empowering things is simply seeing yourself represented in all aspects of life, no matter what your background is. I think that it's also equally important for us as a society to be accustomed to seeing all sorts of people in different roles and opportunities of life. I illustrated a wide range of professions, from a neurobiologist to a barista, from a geologist to a wine grower, and more. When I developed a list of professions, it was important to me to include all fields of work, and not limit it to certain domains. I believe people should be seen everywhere, and be able to participate in all opportunities in life. Thinking about how everything we own, everything we eat, activities we do, are possible thanks to the hard work of people showing up every day, inspired me to track back to how things are created and come up with a diversified list. When drawing characters, I like to take reference photos to help me build an anatomically correct character. I took a lot of photos of myself in my living room in quirky poses and used them as references for my illustrations. I draw the characters on the iPad, keeping them layered so I can always come back and make adjustments. I use limited color palettes, using several hues of the same color to achieve a well-contrasted illustration that pops. Limiting my palette helps me be mindful of the mood I'm creating, when the goal is to create fun, relevant, and colorful characters that can fit a range of uses. I start building the palette by choosing a color that correlates with the subject, and pairing it with a splash of a less expected color or tone. Afterwards, I edit and polish everything in Photoshop on my desktop, zooming in to see the smallest details. Once my illustrations are ready, I upload them to Adobe Stock and add the description and tags to be discovered. Thank you so much for watching. You can find the rest of my collection on Adobe Stock and more of the Artist Spotlight episodes on the Adobe Creative Cloud YouTube channel.